Kevin Love likely to participate in All-Star 3-point contest, waits for LeBron James to pick him for game. San Antonio, Kevin Love said he likely will accept an invitation to participate in the 3-point contest on All-Star Saturday in Los Angeles. Love was selected to the All-Star game for the fifth time on Tuesday and was also asked to do the three-point contest. He told Cleveland.com he would likely accept because it would be his first time in the three-point contest as a Cavalier and he'd frame his jersey. Love won the 2012 three-point contest while a member of the Minnesota Timberwolves. As for Love's All-Star selection, he was picked as a reserve by the coaches. It came at kind of a weird time for him and the Cavs. Love spent the previous 24 hours dealing with the publicity of what was supposed to have been a private team meeting in which some players criticized him for missing most of Saturday's game and all of Sunday's practice with migraines. After the fiery meeting, the Cavs went out the next night Tuesday, and lost 114-102 to the Spurs. Love finished with 10 points and 11 rebounds on 8 shots, on the night LeBron James scored his 30,000th career point. It's not always, I guess, fun to go through that but it's exciting to be a part of 30,000 points, Love said. That's greatness epitomized right there. Like I mentioned, rarefied air. Bran being the captain of the All-Star team, me making the All-Star team and then having the meeting and seeing you guys. It's just all part of it. Some things are better than others. James, as a captain for the All-Star game, can pick love to his team. Rosters, remember, there is no East versus West this year, will be announced Thursday. Listen, he's going to try to assemble the best team possible, Love said. I mean, he probably has a future in that so I assume he'll put together a damn good team. But so will Steph. Those are two smart guys. San Antonio, after being steadfastly opposed to it during the Cavaliers' terrible month, coach Tyron Lu said he would finally make a change to his lineup or rotation after a 114-102 loss to the Spurs on Tuesday. I'm gonna make a change, Lu said, though he declined to say what it might be. The Cavs' current starting lineup of LeBron James, Kevin Love, J.R. Smith, Isaiah Thomas, and Jay Crowder has a minus 22.8 rating, which means it's being outscored by that many points on average per 100 possessions. That's really bad. Lou could do almost anything, from swapping out Crowder for Tristan Thompson to give Kevin Love a break against centers, to replacing Smith, who was scoreless against the Spurs, at shooting guard. Lou could even look at giving Isaiah Thomas a breather at point guard. Thomas committed three turnovers and shot three of nine against the Spurs, but fell several times trying to dribble the ball, which further stunted Cleveland's offense. Then again, Thomas is a two-time All-Star who was third in the NBA in scoring, and Lou believes the Cavs' offense will click once Thomas has regained his speed and stamina after missing the first 36 games. Lou later told Cleveland.com he was still contemplating which change to make. There could be more than one. When you're trying to play faster than you're capable of playing, Lou said. You're used to playing fast and turn the corner and your legs are not quite there, he fell four or five times trying to do that. His speed is gonna take a little while so he can't get down on himself, can't get frustrated. Backing it up a few steps, Lou has resisted making changes while the team is in a rut. But after a team meeting Monday that was heated, and the details of it spilled into the public, the Cavs showed very little improvement. Body language was bad. Energy was low. 18 turnovers cost the team 21 points. The Cavs have lost 10 of 13 games and are porous defensively. They're just a half game ahead of Miami for third place in the East. I mean, if we're gonna speak out and talk, we gotta back it up. Lou said. And I mean we didn't do that tonight. We talked about it this morning. It could be healthy but you've gotta do something about it. Thing about it. 